كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركات Welcome again to our program of Health and Lifestyles. In today's series, we are going to be discussing about healthy relationship. So, in brief, what we'll be talking about is what relationships are, how can we get it, how do we nurture it, what are the importance of a healthy relationship, and also a bit of some of the components that actually bring about better relationship amongst ourselves. So, briefly, in terms of what a healthy relation is, this is an association, this is a relationship, this is what people, when they come together, that ends up into being positive, ends up being a successful association, ending up increasing uh, their coming together so that they are having synergy in terms of what they are doing and in terms of how they relate. And this is very important because all of us need to relate to other people. All of us, all the time, will be mingling, will be staying, will be coming into contact with other people. We are always uh, living with others. And it is very important to know how to relate well. It's very important to know how we can stay uh, with our colleagues, we can stay with other people in a manner that will actually increase in what we are doing and not deteriorate what we are doing or cause uh, chaos or increase uh, the friction that amongst the people. So some of the components that is important to have in terms of having a positive relationship is being trustful. So people have to have trust among themselves so that they can actually uh, rely on each other. They can feel that they are comfortable uh, working with somebody else. They can feel that they are comfortable. They can actually depend on that person in a particular thing, especially if they are workmates, but also if a person is trying uh, to be influenced by the other in terms of whether it's a child who is following an adult, as an example, or is a child who's being taught uh, by a teacher. So that trust between the two persons is very important, uh, especially uh, with our young ones. They need uh, to trust the, the person who is leading them, the person who is supposed uh, to take care of them, the person who is showing them the correct thing. So the child has to trust the parent, the child has to trust the teacher, the child has to trust any other uh, elder person so that they can follow and they can be comfortable with that person. The other thing is respect. It's very important uh, for people to have respect, to respect one another in terms of what is being said so that other person's opinion is accepted uh, and it's listened to, whether it is right or not. Uh, the person who is trying uh, to either direct or lead the other person need to respect the other person who is following him or her. So the trust between the different people is very important and the respect that goes with it so that there is mutual uh, respect for each other in terms of listening to each other, in terms of accepting what the other person uh, brings on the table, in terms of what the other person can do uh, so that they can actually relate and have synergy in terms of what they are doing. Uh, the other component that is very important so that people can have healthy relationship is being mindful of the other person. So you need uh, to uh, know that this person, if is uh, does something, is going to react like this. If this person, you don't do something, he might uh, do something else. So you need to be mindful of that person, such that you can care, you can take care of that person, you can be respectful, and that relation can grow. The other thing that is very important is to understand that people are different. People have uh, are diverse in terms of what they can do in terms of what they think, in terms of what they do, and also in terms of how uh, they understand things. So you need to appreciate the diversity in different people so that they can actually uh, be important in whatever that you're doing so that people can be assigned different roles, people can have a different responsibilities, and they can be respected in terms of the potential they have. So that whether the person is an adult or is a child, 
in whatever relation that is there, for example, in the family, uh, the child could be listened to despite that he's young. The child can be engaged in discussion. The child can be actually asked in terms of advice, in terms of what the family wants to do, so that everyone's input is brought on board despite that uh, they have different opinions, despite that they are, have different expertise, and despite the fact that they are actually uh, their knowledge is different. Uh, the other thing is about uh, open communication. Uh, people have uh, to have means, mechanism of communication. Uh, mostly it is verbal, but this should not be the only way. Uh, people should be able also uh, to, in, uh, to, inter, uh, to relate uh, well in terms of other communication, especially if it is in uh, of formal uh, places, so that the means of communication, they are clearly uh, spelled out and the people know uh, how to use them. Uh, issues of feedback is a very important component in terms of having a positive relationship Whatever is happening, whatever is going, is, has been done, whatever has been discussed, it will be very important uh, that the different people who are involved uh, to have a feedback in terms of what was agreed, what was done, and what is expected, so that there is a communication uh, to and from in terms of whatever was planned and whatever is being done and whatever that has been achieved and it needs to be achieved. Because when people do not have feedback, it means it's just a one way, or people might have discussed issues and they really don't know the position, whether they were accepted, whether they need to be done differently, or they are on the right track. So feedback is a very important uh, component of having healthy relationship. Uh, in terms of also uh, having a good relationship, it is important to know why is it important uh, to have this relationship. And as we have discussed, for us to have a working relationship, for us to live well as communities, for us to live well as families, uh, we need, uh, to, in the long run, our objective to be successful is to perform well. So if these associations, this relationship, this mingling together is uh, positive and is adding value, it means that whatever we are doing, we are going to achieve. So we are going to be successful. So it is very important for us to have healthy relationship so that we can be successful. Then there is that sense of comfort when people are uh, together, then people are relating well. Uh, people actually feel that you are your brother's keeper. You know that you can rely on your colleague, you can rely on your relative, you can rely on your father, you can rely on your mother. So there is a sense of comfort when people are relating well and it brings uh, that group, uh, that community, uh, that society uh, together and they uh, move as one. Uh, it's also important for us to have positive relationship uh, because we need uh, to add on the different uh, expertise, on the different uh, values that we have so that we can actually achieve a particular objective that we need to do. So we know in a, a, in a different environment, in a place that we need to do different things, we need to know who are the different people who are involved, who are the stakeholders, and it is very important also to know what the different roles are these different people, these stakeholders will need to be assigned, they need to do, so that one, there is no duplication of whatever is going to be done. There is no overlap. Uh, there is no chaos. The things are being done in an organized manner so that everybody knows uh, this is what I'm supposed to do and this is what uh, my expectation are, and these are my targets. So that everybody is working towards uh, the same objective uh, but doing their specific areas or the specific roles so that it, uh, in a cumulative way we are adding to that uh, final uh, end result so that we are all uh, contributing to what we are doing. So it is very important uh, for us uh, to have these different uh, roles assigned to us so that we are successful. So it is also very important in a relationship uh, to have healthy relation because it reduces uh, the conflict, it reduces the misunderstanding, it reduces uh, things that will not be interpreted well. So when people are having healthy relationship, 
their means of communication, their way of how they are relating, and this actually uh, brings down uh, the issue of interruptions, uh, chaos, and misunderstanding. So it's very important uh, for us to have these health relationships because they will increase the value of half becoming together and reduce the possible uh, chaos or disruption, interaction uh, that we are having uh, together when we are coming together. So for us to have this healthy relationship, there are things we really need uh, to know, we really need to have uh, so that we can be able uh, to uh, move it uh, well, to be better and to help others. And one of the things is having a social awareness. So you need to understand yourself well and you need to understand your emotions and you need to understand your mood so that your emotions, your moods, actually you have control over them, you regulate them so that you can be able uh, to live with the other people well, you can be able uh, to use them and balance them so that you can actually uh, make use of them in terms of relating with the other people. The other thing which is very important for us to have a healthy relationship is uh, for us to have that social awareness. We need to understand the people who are around us. We need to know how they will behave in a particular manner and we need to know how we, that we can involve them in our issues so that we can relate well. Uh, the other important thing in terms of having a healthy relationship is actually uh, to have uh, uh, self-regulation, relation management. And this has a several components in terms of how do we need to influence other people, how do we coach other people, how do we mentor other people, how do we reduce a conflict when we are in a relation so that we can actually uh, be able to reduce uh, the tension between people as people when they come together they are bound uh, to be misunderstanding but when they come how do we uh, manage them when this misunderstanding comes so we need uh, to know how to reduce conflict we need to know how uh, when misunderstanding are there to reduce the tension uh, between the different people so we need really to be able to relate and manage uh, this uh, relationship. Uh, we are going to discuss more. Uh, we will break briefly. Once we come back, we will elaborate on healthy relationship and the management of relationship. Uh, welcome back to our second part of this series of healthy relationship. Uh, before we went for the brief break, we were talking about managing a relationship. And one of the aspects of this uh, managing relationship that we are talking about is how do we manage a conflict? So when misunderstanding occur uh, between different people, one of the most important thing if we are to manage a conflict is to have open communication, is to discuss whatever is happening, uh, to understand each other, to give each other an opportunity to air uh, whatever is uh, being discussed, whatever has occurred, so that we can get each other's uh, perspective, understand them, and respect them. So this is one of the ways that we can reduce uh, this uh, conflict. The other thing is to be careful of people's uh, feelings so that we do not hurt them. And if there are issues or there are words or there are things that the other people will not like, we try and avoid uh, mentioning them, using such words or using uh, such uh, body actions that will not augur well with the other people. So this will reduce uh, the tension of these other people. It's also very important if we are to manage a conflict or a misunderstanding that we know the other party. Even in a family situation, for example, a parent should know how the different children behave, how the different uh, children react. Uh, to different situation or the same situation so that if a particular child uh, will cry if maybe he's called or he's shouted at, you have try and avoid the same. So you need to understand the other party, how they will react to a particular situation and how they are. So it will be very important for us to have an idea of the other party in terms of uh, behavior, in terms of uh, their reacting, in terms of their reactions and also in terms of their feelings. Uh, the other thing, it will be very important if you want to manage a relationship, is the ability to be able to influence other people positively so that we will be able to guide them in a particular way, but 
still not looking that we are forcing them, still looking, looking that we are not uh, doing it against their own will. So it will be very important uh, for us to have positive influence over the people that we are relating to. Uh, for example, children, uh, we know they do most of what they see, uh, not most of what they're being told to do. So if we, are, want, if we want to bring up children well, if you we want to influence children, the best way actually is to do the positive thing. So you show them uh, by action. So if, for example, you want them uh, to pray, so it will be better for you to be praying uh, instead of telling them, go and pray. So it is uh, more of what you do that they will look at and they will follow. So it is very important uh, to understand the different uh, groups of people so that we know how uh, to relate them. Uh, briefly now, I would like to discuss about the different types of relationship that we can have uh, uh, amongst ourselves. And one is the individual person, uh, personal relationship uh, with uh, himself. Uh, this is how you relate to yourself, how you feel either positive or negative about yourself, how optimistic you are, how pessimistic you are. So it's very important uh, for one uh, to have a positive uh, esteem, to have positive feelings uh, for himself as an individual so that can be able to relate with other. Then the, that le divine relation between a person and the creator, between the people and the creator, and this most of the time it's already uh, guided, it's already uh, put how it should be done, and it is important uh, for us uh, to have this uh, divine uh, relation because we know most of the time uh, we reach a point that we cannot do anything by ourselves. We know there is a point that we need to ask uh, for assistance and as, as human beings we need to relate uh, to our Creator well. And this is spelled out very well in terms of our divine guidance and we need to follow that so that we can actually uh, have that peace between ourselves and our Creator. Uh, this is important because this now relates to all the other things that we, are, we need to do. Then there is that relation between you and your family, especially your immediate family. It's very important that you know how to relate uh, with your spouse. Uh, you do things that actually will add value. You do things that will actually uh, make the relationship better. You do things that will actually reduce uh, the tension in the family. Then there is that relation, especially if you are a parent uh, to your children, so that you actually give them positive association from as early as even before uh, being uh, born. We know that unborn children in their mother's uh, womb, in their mother's, uh, they actually also react to the mother's uh, moods, to the mother's uh, feelings. If the mother is happy, if the mother is joyful, uh, there is that uh, hormones that also will express joyfulness. The child also uh, will be also in a mood that is positive. If the mother is sad, if the mother is angry, we know that also affects uh, the unborn child uh, negatively. So it is important that the, the mother actually becomes more positive, the mother engages in positive things, the mother is more joyful, the mother is more happy, so that also the child acquires the same. And we know beside the mother's moods and emotion, even whatever the mother does in terms of what she takes, even in terms of food, the nutrition, will actually affect uh, the child either positively or negatively. If the mother will be taking uh, drugs and substances uh, that are abused, these will also affect the child. So things like smoking will also affect uh, the child's uh, development, the brain uh, development. These cannot develop uh, maximally. The potential will be reduced and it can have negative uh, effect to the child. So there is already a relation uh, between the mother even with the unborn child. So the relation of the parents with other children is very important. It's very important uh, to express uh, positive feelings, emotions, and uh, things that will actually, the children will see uh, that they are appreciated. And besides uh, doing this verbally, there are those also non-verbally expression that actually will increase the relation will increase the association uh, between the parents and the children. It's very important, for example, when children are uh, not happy, when they are crying, 
that they feel that there is somebody uh, close that will actually uh, they can uh, confine in, they can get comfort from. Uh, when child cries, whether uh, the child has started talking or not, it's very important for it to feel that there is protection, there is security around it. So the child should not cry uh, for long, so that as soon as the child cries, there should be somebody who is going to take care of that child. There should be somebody who will actually pick that child. There should be somebody actually who should uh, hug uh, the child so that this child can feel that there is security, I am important, and these things actually can be solved. So children who have been known to be left to cry uh, for long, uh, this becomes negative to, to them and they can later develop uh, negative behaviors. Uh, so even for children who are elderly, or children who have grown up, it's very important for us uh, to show them that we are there for them, we'll give them comfort. So when they do wrong things, yes, they should be corrected, they should be told it's wrong, uh, but it should not be extended that this looks like it is a, a long uh, punishment. So the child should be brought back to feel that I am important and I'm wanted. So, this relationship uh, between the parents and children from as early as they are not born, it's very important. The way we relate uh, to our neighbors is very important. Uh, even a simple uh, communication, a simple uh, greeting is very important. It breaks uh, the, uh, the ice. It breaks that uh, issue of not being able uh, to get to somebody, so it becomes an easy entry. So it's very important that we actually uh, we greet our neighbors, we become positive with them, we communicate so that we can actually help each other, we can have open communication whenever it is, and when there is a need, it will be easier uh, for us to interact, and like when we are, talk we are not talking, we are not greeting each other. So it is very important uh, for us to have that uh, casual uh, relationship uh, with our neighbors. In terms of the society, we should look at whatever position that we are in and see how do we give back to the society, how do we contribute uh, to the society, uh, values, uh, needs, and aspirations, so that at whatever level you are, uh, there is something that you can do uh, that is positive, there is something that you can do actually that can reduce uh, the misunderstanding, that can reduce the tension, and can reduce uh, the conflict. So it is very important that this uh, different uh, levels of uh, types of uh, relationship that we know how do we come in and how uh, do we add value. So now we like to know some of the things that will be very important are for us to be able to nurture, to grow this healthy relationship. And one of the things that we had earlier mentioned was the issue of having open communication. This is very important and this communication should be an effective and timely communication so that it is not just a communication for the sake, but it is targeted at a particular time. It is targeted at addressing at a particular issue at that time, and it's uh, targeted uh, to move uh, the people that are concerned uh, together in a particular manner. So that this uh, communication is a means of actually uh, getting to the objectives that we have. It is a means of reducing conflict, and it is a means of all of us reducing uh, the issues, the tension that we have. So with this communication, feedback is a very important aspect of this. We need also to, not, when we want to nurture a healthy relationship, that we need to acknowledge, we need to appreciate uh, the people uh, that uh, we have around. We need to appreciate their opinion. We need to appreciate whatever they're bringing on board. It's also very important when we want to have a healthy relationship uh, that uh, we respect uh, the people that uh, we are mingling with, the people that we are interacting with. So it's very important for us to have trust and respect for each other. This actually enables uh, to grow uh, that uh, healthy relationship. Uh, the other thing which is very important in relationship is to try and avoid all the things that can bring uh, conflicts, uh, whether it's between you and your family, between you and the bigger society. So we reduce, we stop or avoid all the things that can bring attention amongst ourselves and other people. And uh, for us, uh, to have any relationship, it would be very important for us to be guided by particular uh, virtues. And most of the time, what is very important, if we are there to a divine uh, guidance, we'll be guided in terms of 
how to relate amongst with others, how to relate with ourselves as individuals, and how to relate with the bigger society. With this, wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي